Welcome to Everyday Cooking with Anne. Today is Valentine's Day and my husband requested for his gift, which is always a food gift from me of course, is to make a, a red berry, red and actually blueberry tart with a lemon filling in a tart crust. So today I'm going to teach you how to make the crust and the filling and everything how it looks at the very end will be beautiful and appetizing. First thing you got to know is you need to have a nine inch tart pan. Now what makes a tart pan different than any other pan is that it has a bottom that lifts up so that you can remove the tart and its beauty and place it on a platter so it's very beautiful. It's really a great little thing to serve at a, maybe a dinner party or something like that. Okay, to make the crap, to make the uh, tart pastry, we are going to use one and a half cubes, that's three quarters of a cup of butter, and I've already kind of cubed that up so it'll mix easily. And we have a half a cup of powdered sugar. And I'm gonna mix this up. Now, I'm gonna add, while this is mixing up, a teaspoon of real vanilla. The real deal. Once all this is incorporated, it only takes a sec uh, maybe 30 seconds. I'm going to add one and a half cups of just regular all-purpose flour. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit because I don't want it to fly all over the kitchen. I'm going to let that mix for a minute while I grab my spatula. Now this is very similar to any kind of a cookie pastry dust. I mean, for my lemon tarts, I mean my lemon uh, bars that I make, it also has a crust on the bottom before you make the actual lemon filling. This is somewhat similar, but this has a powdered sugar filling in the crust to give it a little bit of sweetness. So you can see I'm going to be mixing this all up and it's at about the, same, the right place you want to be. If I kept going really a long time in this, this would turn into a dough. It would look like a dough. You can see I'm starting to make it look that way now. Okay, I think it's mixed up enough that I can show you what I do next. This is the same thing I do with uh, when I make a crust for my lemon bars as well. But this is going to have a sour cream um, filling that we're going to bake in the oven in just a little bit. I'll show you a sour cream lemon egg yolk filling. All right, I'm going to take this crust out of here, this flour and butter mixture, and I'm going to put it in my nine-inch pan and press it in. But first, I'm just undoing as much as I can, and I'm going to press it with my fingers into the tart pan. And it should just come right up the sides, all the way up the sides of your tart pan. So that when you're ready to release it, it will be ready to go. It'll come right out with that removable bottom. As soon as I get this how I want it to look, right up the sides of that tart pan, which will make it look really pretty with those uh, little scalloped edges. The crust is one of the main parts of this. It's not just like a nice addition. It's probably one of the very main parts besides the berries. But the filling also makes it very special. So I'm just gonna press this down here. When it starts baking, it will come out more evenly. Okay, this has to go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes and then I'll, I'll take it out and show you when we're finished, it has to cool completely before we put the other filling in, which will also be baking in this crust. See how simple this is so far? Uh, I'm gonna put this in the oven right now at 350 degrees. I'm gonna start off with 20 minutes. If it needs to go to 25 minutes, I'll check it then to see if it looks nice and golden. Our crust is baked. I baked it for exactly 20 minutes. You can see it's a light golden brown. It is also cooled. 
nicely. But we are going to be baking again in just a moment, so I have left my oven on at 350 degrees. Now we're going to make this very simple filling that will go on here. I have had out of my fridge, and this is why I'm making this, I've had these four egg yolks for about a week, and I want to be able to use them in something, and that's why I'm making this. So I'm going to use my four egg yolks in here, and I have a half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to beat this for about one minute. Exactly one minute, and you can see it's now light and light lemony rather than a dark lemon color. Now I'm going to add to this one cup of sour cream. And I'm going to be adding lemon zest from about two teaspoons about in here, maybe a tablespoon, from two lemons. I'm not, notice I am not adding any lemon juice, just the lemon zest. And I'm also adding a teaspoon of vanilla once again. And we're going to beat this now for about one more minute. take this filling. Now this will thicken as it bakes, but I'm going to be baking this. I'm putting this on top of our crust. And you can see it's going to be spread out a bit so it won't take long. The eggs will be the thickening agent. You didn't need to put any cornstarch or any other thickening in here. The eggs will thicken it and puff up. It will puff up quite nicely. I'm going to spread that over, over on the top and then I'm going to start preparing my berries to get ready to go on top of here when this comes out and cools. Okay, now we are making the glaze that will go over the berries that we're going to be putting on our tart. Um, I've added some very special kind of a jam. It's not a jelly, so jelly would be the best thing and then the recipe it calls for red currant jelly. But I'm right now heating up a um, berry jam and it includes cherries and some other really great things, blood orange, some other things like that in this really special jam. It's kind of a cherry jam. Okay, so uh, as you can see it's heating up and what I'm going to do is let this reduce down. So I'm going to just let this go on a little boil for about 10 minutes until we're ready to actually glaze and put our tart together. Okay, here's our berry reduction. It kind of thickened up a little bit, and I'm going to, it's been here for about one and a half minutes, reducing it. It was real watery at the beginning, and now it's not. So I'm going to take this off, and I have a little strainer into a small bowl here that I'm going to just go ahead and add my berries and strain out. thick part of the berries. You did not have red currant jelly, which you want a red jelly. Um, that's what you would need to reduce down here with a couple of tablespoons of water. So what we've done is we've taken some jam and we've strained it and pressed it through into this strainer into this pan right here. You can see where we had it. And this is what it looks like now. And it's just deglazed just a little bit with a couple of tablespoons more of water. And we're waiting for that to cool when we uh, go ahead and glaze over our berries. Okay, welcome back. We're on our next step of our tart, our lemon uh, cream filled tart. The tart shell looks beautiful. Now, as I was showing you before, I'm taking out the, the pan here, which will only show now the edge of the crust. And I have a little platter I'm going to put this on to serve it on. Okay. I love the contrast of yellow and blue. They're my favorite colors. And now what I'm going to do is just show you, you can make any kind of design you want. I started my design over here, but I was going to go ahead and just start in the very middle. Okay, we have our little berry glaze that we made out of, you can use a regular jelly, some kind of a currant or red jelly, any kind of berry jelly. We've modified this a little bit with a little bit of blood orange juice and lemon juice with a little cornstarch to make it perfect. It is now just perfect, so we're going to top each of the berries sections right here with this glaze. It's tart and really delicious. This reminds me a lot of our 
fruit pizza recipe. Okay, now I'm just going to glaze over these berries. This will keep it fresh so that you can keep this in the refrigerator and serve this later. You can make this all the day before and everything will stay fresh looking. Or you can serve it right away. Okay, now I've got my trusty little tool that I use when I want to decorate with whipped cream, which is like my favorite thing to add to almost any dessert if you already know me by now. I'm just going to go around and just put some little appointments on it. I think that looks great. I'm going to take a little square here and cut it so we get a little bit of berry and whipped cream. Okay, look at that, what it looks like. Perfect crust, berries, cream, and mm, the filling is magnificent. Without having actually any lemon juice in the filling, just the eggs and the lemon zest, the perfect amount of lemon. It is just delicate, delicious. It's really a fancy dessert, and it's so easy to make as you saw. Hope you enjoy it.